on everybody today we're gonna to be lowering the 720 and before you guys you know comment some questions that I'm pretty sure you guys will uh, ask I'm gonna just try to answer as many as I can why am I lowering the truck um, because I like low trucks and just low cars in general plus I feel like the truck isn't low enough for you know my liking um, a lot of you guys might be it's like might say it's already low enough and all that but it's my truck my liking I like it lower so I'm gonna go low a little lower um, what are the benefits of lowering a car or truck there really isn't a lot of benefits because it most of the time just makes the ride height worse than what it is factory unless you have good coilovers or good you know good suspension then that's when you're getting an upgraded uh, ride but for these trucks both of these and a lot of mini trucks they don't have a lot of suspension they just have leafs in the back and like 12 12 inch shocks in the front I think on other tiny little things so it's pretty much useless so there's no point of I don't even think they make coilovers I've been looking for some and I don't think they actually make coilovers for these trucks unless you put coilovers from a different car but yeah, I don't really care about that but pretty much what I'm trying to say is that these trucks don't have a lot of good suspension and there's not really a lot of aftermarket suspension for them so you know might as well dump them on the floor and make them look cool um, how low am I gonna go? Well, right here you can see it's two fingers, kind of tight, and uh, I want to go to maybe one finger and a half. So one finger. I'm not gonna go too low, just maybe that much if I can. Uh, right now the truck is sitting on bump stops in front, in the front, and I think the front. Oh, did I see the front? Yeah. Um, the back is sitting on bump stops, and the front still has a little bit um, lower to go. So pretty much what I'm going to be doing in the rear is trimming the bump stops, not fully taking them off because when I took them off, it was hitting uh, up here. I don't know if I, uh, you guys can see, probably not. Yeah, you guys can maybe see a little right there where the tire has been rubbing. Um, but that was a little too low and I didn't want to, you know, hit this and smack my rear quarter panels on my bed. So I'm just going to trim them so it'll go a little lower. And the front, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to go as as low as they can until you hit bump stops so yeah let's just get started enough of me talking because I talk so much I know there's been a lot of questions in the comments that I've been asking how I lowered this truck and I haven't really made a video um, detailed enough to like show you guys so if you guys are wondering how I lowered this truck you guys are gonna you know learn as well so you guys can see that the bump stops are now out and right there is pretty much where the axle is hitting you guys can see a little divot but as you guys the truck um right now i have weight in the back of the truck but if i have no bump stops or bump stops it's pretty much it stays at the same height but the thing is that if i don't have any bump stops and i hit a bump it's gonna hit the fender so what i'm kind of doing right now so i don't cut too much of this off is i put a lot of weight on the back of the truck so pretty much it'll just sag until it hits the fenders and what i'm going to be doing right here is just Probably cutting to the little black mark and then putting them on and letting it raising up the drag, putting them on and let the weight drop and pretty much let it sit on the bump stops. And I'm gonna I'm gonna cut these as low as I can. So pretty much when the truck bottoms out, it bottoms out right before it actually hits the tire, if that makes any sense. So all the weight in the back is pretty much my bottoming out. So guys, what I've done is I've just cut them, as you guys can see, their hair. But I cut them like an inch and a half-ish, not too much. And I haven't bolted them down, but they're both pretty much the same exact size. But I put the one on this side, it doesn't really matter, but I put the one in here. I didn't actually bolt it up, I just kind of just set it in there. And you know, I'm kind of using the jack with all the weights in the back. And right now it's all like at its full weight, so if I were to bottom out, with my suspension, this is how far I'd be with my actual, you know, quarter panel. So I wouldn't actually damage it, but the truck would sit a little bit lower. And, uh, yeah, this is pretty much as low as the truck's going to go. Well, it'll go lower, but I don't really want it to go lower. So this is as low as I'm going to be going in the rear. And then the front, I still don't know if I want to lower that or not. 
because I, I don't know to me this seems like too much wheel gap so I might lower it like half of this maybe just to eliminate some of that wheel gap so it sits almost like the back but uh, yeah she's looking a whole lot better so you guys saw that I cut the rear bump stops off and that's you know low and I'll show you guys how I lowered that. Now the front, how I lowered my truck, I used torsion bars, not drop spindles. Because drop spindles is like $200 a spindle and it's like a $400 job and I don't want to spend a lot of money. So the way I lowered this truck, uh, I think I spent like $56, which is pretty crazy for how, you know, how it looks. But the only thing that I paid for was the rear blocks. And, you know, you could buy those on eBay for, like I said, $56 or whatever. The front is free as long as you have tools, which is just that and uh right in the middle of the door you're gonna want to come down here and you can see there's a bolt there and a bolt there and these are pretty much your torsion bars so when you loosen these your truck your a arm your a, yeah your truck's a arms they pretty much go up like that when they go up the truck you know drops or if you want to lift your truck you tighten them and they go like this and then you know you get the gist of it so pretty much you just want to loosen these and then your truck drops in the front and in the rear you have blocks so pretty much you take those four screws off and that should be touching your axle your axle should be laying on your leaf springs if your truck is stock and then you pretty much just lift up the the, the rear axle stick that in there and tighten it down with the u-bolts and that's how you lower the back pretty simple like i said the front why am i zoomed in front like i said is also simple and i lowered this truck with only 56 dollars so you know it's pretty good so guys uh, i'm gonna quickly show you how low it is before i lower it so that's about two fingers ish and uh, you can see where my tire kind of caught my fender a little i used to be lower but i raised my truck because i hit my other side fender and i kind of mangled it and I got mad, so I raised it up, but now I want to go lower, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Pretty sure it will, but like I said, two fingers tight. I'm going to try to go to maybe one finger if I can, or one and a half, I don't really know. But uh, just a before and after. So guys, this is after. You guys can see it's one finger. Um, I can't even fit two fingers before I could fit two fingers. So that's the front and then the rear tight one finger so um yeah she's lower now probably like an inch or around there lower don't really know this is probably as low as i want to go and i pretty much achieved being this low for literally only like 56 dollars so under 60 dollars and i got it this low um it does ride kind of like shitty but what do you expect uh if you get drop spindles in the front it'll ride close to stock but not like stock so you know if you want a better ride then i would recommend drop spindles it's pretty much upside down knuckles so your tire sits higher but your suspension stays the same and then rear i would maybe say sorry i'm out of breath uh but the rear i would recommend like a mini c-notch not a full c-notch just a like a cutout in the frame and then like reinforcement so you know you don't hit the frame so you don't frame bang and uh, if you're going to be running tires like I am with an aggressive poke, then you can't really go that low because you're just going to ruin your fenders and stuff unless you don't really care about them. But, uh, yeah. This is literally exactly how I pictured this truck before I even bought it. This low with, you know, not these rims in particular, but just, you know, aggressive poke and single cab yeah so guys that's pretty much it for the video um i forgot to close off the video so that's why i'm closing it off right now but the truck is pretty much done now um after the last clip you guys saw i just took it around the block went through some bumps through some small potholes pot pot and the truck seems to be running what i think um a little better than before which seems kind of crazy because i went even lower but for whatever reason it feels more you know sturdy it feels like it's more planted on the floor just more stable i guess if that's you know i would describe it but um i'll give you guys a quick look so as you guys can see my wheel gap is like no more i have like probably half an inch 
ish of uh, travel, if that's what you want to call that too. But uh, I lowered that truck for pretty much just $56, so under $60, and you can get your 720 or uh, even your hard body for that low. If you guys have any questions of how I lowered my 720 or you know anything like that, you guys can ask me and I'll do my best to reply to them, which pretty sure I will because I reply to almost every comment. And uh, the blocks, you could just look on eBay for you know your specific truck, whether it's Toyota, Mitsubishi, you know Nissan, whatever it is, you just look it up. You look up four inch, three inch, two inch, however low you're trying to go, and then pretty much just you buy them. Usually it's the blocks and then four U bolts and eight. Uh, bolts and that's pretty much it you just like I said you raise your axle and then you it's pretty much in a way kind of like a spacer because your suspension stays the same everything stays the same for the rear except you're putting a block which is a spacer and in the front I mean I wouldn't really recommend it if you want to you know keep your bushings and everything good I wouldn't recommend you know lowering your truck from the front like I did with the torsion bars I would obviously recommend um, drop spindles but a lot of you guys don't have money and you don't want to spend you know four hundred dollars five hundred dollars six hundred dollars whatever the price is for drop spindles like me so you can either do it that way but uh, I'm just letting you guys know that if you do that you're gonna pretty much get a lot of play in your steering wheel because all the bushings on your front suspension pretty much you just blow them out and uh, yeah I just I'm giving you guys a warning just so you guys don't get mad once you lower your truck and then you, you know things get messed up but so that's pretty much it for this video, like I said earlier. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one, which will probably be in a couple of days. So, you know, come back to that video. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys did learn something from this video and found it useful. See you guys in the next one.